Hey guys, Sonic here. Just a heads up, in the next few videos, my mic volume might be a little low, so please bear with it. My mic was low for some reason in the videos I recorded. So, that's it. Nothing else to say, really. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs>
Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I... And there's nothing we can do about it. Excuse me. Good, now let's go back. Let's go find a save point. She's a cheerful one, huh? A bit of gratitude might have been nice. What kind of a bratty... Hey, ease off, Dust. She looked like she was pretty depressed. I... I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry, Fidget. I... I don't know what came over me just then. Come on, let's keep moving. They are connected somehow. Why else would there be forced dialogue when I just passed, like, 20 other people? Come on, where's the save point? Ah, oh, here it is. I think it is. No. There might be another... <gasps> ah, narrator voice. <coughs> what is this thing? Some kind of cage? Whatever it is, it's making this awful, awful racket. Once in, a, once in a while I hear words that sound like fat and beats. What does that even mean? I'll hide it in the caves beneath Aurora until I've found the keys I need. I just need to remember to jump as far to the right as I can. Um, that was helpful. Now, save point, let's save my g the game. Save here. Okay, guys. Um, Sonic out. Well, not really. You're going to see me the other half of this video, but till then. Hello everybody, welcome back to Dust and the Elysian Tale. You should have just seen me two seconds ago, but actually it's been a week since I recorded. So, uh... They're not the same things, aren't they? Well, I'll go here. We talked to them, we ran across those people, and now we have to talk to them for the quest. And there's a fruit shop. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. You honor us with your patronage. Please tell your friends, your rich ones. Okay, let's go back and talk to those people. Who I ran across because I had no time. And Ginger. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Dust, and my companion here is Fidget. Hello again. Dust? Really? Is something wrong? No, I I'm sorry. It's just an interesting name. I'm Ginger. Oh, and about those people you saved. Yes? Well, that was a noble thing to do. So thank you. Sorry about that, I just had to check if it was recording. Okay, now, onward to adventure of talking to people. You! You're perfect! Okay. Um, thanks? Not you! Listen, do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Mosca fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for your nuttiness. I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box and return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. Hmm. Level up. Let's go. Upgrade fidget. Box. That's what it is. It's a box. You can't open it. Don't look in the box. Do not open the box. You can look at the box, but that's it. And only if it helps you bring it back. 
had fell into a hole near the storage cave in Aurora. No doubt found by whatever lives in the darkness deep below. Okay, so let's quest. Let's talk to the other guy. Did it fall down here? <gasps> Didn't we get that note before? From the... Do you guys remember that? Hold on, I have that note somewhere. Yeah, this word of voice. Some kind of cage. Just need to jump as far to the right as I can. Let's talk to Mosca, the suspected box dealer. Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the west. Oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's talking? Of course! You're the one who saved Oneida! Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, if you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, it's about a girl. Well, surely she's worth the danger. Oh, she is! She definitely is. I just... I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much! You're great! You're really, really great! Okay, so I have to talk to his girlfriend. What about this guy, Gianni? Jess? Uh, good morning? Hmm, is it though? I... well, I guess? He guesses. Wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. Wow, you don't have to be so, such a... Uh, um, uh, meanie. You don't have to be such a meanie. Okay. Augustine. Oh, I remember this guy. This guy's Australian. Oh, look, his Why, accent. hello there. I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. Indeed. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and Dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally, but this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Augustine, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know, I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend. A blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Well, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says hello. Okay, now, let's go back to where we was, because that's all the people, right? Let's just make sure. Yeah, and then there's the mean guards over there, and Oneida and her husband is over there. Or Oneida and his wife. Okay. Now, back to where it was before. Uh, walking. Someone's as boring as writing a script. Uh, speak.
speaking of, I'm writing a Ruby review. There's a show called Ruby. Watch it now. Information. But the bad part is I have to write a script and I have to say stuff. And I messed up so many times. I swear we already have a full blooper reel and I only just did the introduction. Alright, so let's go back to where we were. <coughs> oh, little girl, I didn't see you before. Kali and chest. Travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni, but whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Me neither. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. Let's have a talk with this Gianni. <laughs> I hate that guy's guts. But let's talk to him anyway for the sake of Colleen's brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, crazy box guy. Uh, Mosca and then Gianni. Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then, we're going to have a little chat. Uh, his insults, they hurt so badly. Apparently I can go down from here from the mini-map. Apparently I can go down. Okay, now let's go. How are we gonna get there? Maybe we'll go to the end of the village. If we can go there. I'm not sure how this works. <laughs> the ginger, then the merchant. Colleen's up there. Who's this guy? He looks like a samurai. Good day. I'm Mayor Bram. So, you're the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. And there was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. She can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through this past year. She looked pretty upset about something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. Other matters? What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in a field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really could use the help. I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. 
Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, 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 you hold on a second. You're saying those mindless thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experienced in warfare. What do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem the farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'd be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Dust? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Is this infamous choice Helping making? this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... Like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. I'm proud of you, Dust. Of course, if you say no, I need to bite your face off. Charming as always, Fidget. I think you've made a wise decision. All right, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchmen reported increased monster activity to the east of our village, so I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives to these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful, and I'll be back. Another. Okay. Attack. Okay. I'm heading east anyway, so... Oh, another guy. Fail. <laughs> hey! Epic fail. You're the outsider! Yeah, that's me. That's great! So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. Oh, burn. <laughs> In so many words, yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what, if you could bring me five imp heights, I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. More? Please, let me know if you come across those materials. I'll keep my much appreciate. Okay, okay, never mind. Oh, look. Fidget sleeping. Aww. In a map. Okay, so, this is where I started. That's the sanctuary super meek boy is sleeping right now. What? Why? Did he send that boy to go do laundry all the way over there? That's crazy. Oh,